Connecting a Bluetooth module to your Arduino is quite a simple task, and everything works straight out of the box. But we can make some setting changes to improve the speed it talks to your Arduino, and also to change its broadcast name. So let's find out how we can do that with some AT commands. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. In my previous video, we saw that we can very easily connect up a Bluetooth module to our Arduino, and there's really only two connections that we need to make for the two data pins. And I'll put a link up in the corner so you can get to that video. Now, out of the packet, the devices usually come preset to communicate with your Arduino at 9600 baud. They have a predefined pin number for pairing of 1, 2, 3, 4, and they also have a defined broadcast name, which, which is really sort of generic. Now, all of these we can actually change by issuing some commands directly to the unit, and we'll use something called AT commands, which is one of these sort of ways of talking to devices and giving it commands directly over its serial channel. So let's see how we can get that all set up. So first of all, we need to build up the circuit. And again, that's as described in the previous video. And as I said, you've just seen the circuit diagram for that. To be able to talk to the Bluetooth module, we need to create a little sort of pass-through sketch for our Arduino. Now we're going to be using again the software serial module. And again, the idea here is that we need to use the actual serial channel between the Arduino and the PC for our serial monitor so that we can actually type things in. And if we connect up our Bluetooth module to the hardware serial port, that will actually interfere with that connection. So we need to move it on to some separate pins. And this software serial package, that lets us really create a second serial channel in software and use two other pins. So I'm going to be using pins 9 and 8 as my receive and transmit pins for this software serial object. So once we've loaded in that, we can then instantiate a software serial object, and I've, I've created a variable called BT serial, and then we can set that up. So we set up the um, pins, our, our receive pin to be an input, so that's coming from the Bluetooth module to our Arduino, and then our transmit pin coming from the Arduino to our Bluetooth module. Initially, when you buy a Bluetooth module, it will have its data transmission rate set at 9600 baud. So we can set our, our Bluetooth um, or software serial module here to communicate at the correct speed. We then need, of course, to talk back up to our PC, and I'm just setting that at 9600 baud as well. So at this point here, we've got a, a serial channel from our serial monitor down to the Arduino, and then a second serial channel from our Arduino out to the Bluetooth module. The next bits then is really just creating that pass through. So really what we're saying, again, I've probably gotten the wrong way around here, is if we have some data coming down from our serial monitor, so that's this, this block of code here. So if there's, if there's data available on the serial channel, we're gonna read that in and then send it straight out to the Bluetooth serial um, object, which of course is connected up to the Bluetooth module. Then, if we get some data coming back from the Bluetooth module, we're simply going to bypass that straight up to our serial monitor so we can see that appearing on the screen. When you power up the Bluetooth module, you'll find a little red LED indicator which will blink, telling you that it has not yet made any Bluetooth connections. Now at this point we need to look at which particular version of Bluetooth module we have. We need to be in what's known as AT mode. Now the HC06, which is the slave only version, um, that is always in AT mode, so there's nothing we need to do for that. But the HC05 needs to be put into AT mode explicitly. And you do that, there's usually a little button near the header pins. And if you hold that in while you power on the device, that will set it into AT mode. And usually the little red LED indicator will flash a little bit slower when it's in this mode. 
So once we're powered on and in AT mode, we simply need to upload our Arduino sketch and then start sending the commands to set it all working. So I've got it up, up and running now. If I go into my serial monitor, and again, I'm communicating with my um, Arduino at 9600 baud, which is what we set up here on our serial channel. We want to have it with no line endings at the moment. And then we can actually start typing in commands. And these AT commands usually start with AT. And if I say AT just by itself and send that, you should see that our, our, our Bluetooth module comes back with an OK. And then we just use a series of different AT commands to do whatever we want. So if I say AT version, so it's AT plus version, and if I send that, our Bluetooth module will come back telling us what version of software it currently has installed. So now that we've verified that we can talk to the Bluetooth module, let's do some setting up. Now the things we need to set up are its transmission rate between the Bluetooth module and the Arduino. So at the moment, um, we've got that set at 9600 baud, and, and that's the default setting for the modules. Uh, but of course, that's, that's quite slow, so we can bump that up a bit. Uh, and the maximum we can go to with the um, Arduino Uno is 115k uh, baud, uh, so the 115,200 baud setting in, in, your, um, in your serial terminal. We also then need to look at the broadcast name. So whenever you search for this device in Bluetooth uh, and, tr and we'll try to pair with it, um, it, it will broadcast the name. And at the moment, it, it'll have some sort of generic name, which, which will be obvious what it is, but it is not really um, particular to your project. So if you want to give this Bluetooth module a name that's relevant to your project, we, we can set that. And then also the pin number. So when you need to pair with the module, um, the default setting on these is 1234, which of course isn't very secure. So we can change that then so um, no, not um, anybody can just pair with this device. So it's actually a bit more secure. Now the commands that we need to use for this, are, again, are all these AT commands, but they do differ between devices. So the 8 co 6 and 8 co 5 use slightly different commands for these. So, so please make sure you check out the um, tutorial page in my website. I'll, I'll put links in the description down below, and that will give you a list of all the AT commands for each module. Now I've got a, an 8 co 6 slave-only module connected up to my Arduino at the moment. So the, the settings that I need to use in this then. So I, I can set a, a baud rate and I do that by doing AT plus, then I say baud and then I have a number and this number represents the baud rate setting that I want. So baud rate setting number four is the default one of 9600. But if I send that down, you'll see that the um, Bluetooth module comes back saying um, it's received that OK and it has set the baud rate to 9600. I could then do an AT plus um, baud and I could set that to 8. And if I do that, you can see it comes back as the OK and it has this 115,200 baud. But now, if I try and do AT to it, and try that, you can see that I'm not getting any response. And that, of course, is because it's now switched across to this higher baud rate, and my sketch is still sending data to it at 9,600 baud. So do make sure if you do change the baud rate, you then have to go and edit your sketch to get it to work again. So if I come in here and I change this to 115,200, uh, and then resend that down, and then bring back up my serial channel. Okay, so our, our serial connection between my PC and my Arduino is still at the 9600 baud, but of course it now is talking to the Bluetooth module at this 115K baud. So we should now be getting our responses back again. 
and so on. So we're now talking at a much higher speed. So do make sure that if you do ever do the AT command to change the baud rate, um, and again, remember on the HC06, it's going to be a different, slightly different command, then you do need to make sure that your sketch is matching that because it does change the baud rate as soon as you send that command. So the next thing to change is the broadcast name. So if I just bring up my um, Bluetooth scanning on, on my PC, you can see at the moment, so all, all you do here is um, I'm on a Windows machine. Um, so if you go into your Bluetooth devices and try and add a device, at that point it will scan to see what's available. So I have my HC06 module here. Now I, I had already set the broadcast name to Arduino. So we can see it's sitting there waiting to be paired. But if I come back into my um, Arduino sketch, if I do AT plus name, and again, this is the HC06 command. After that, whatever I type in will become the broadcast name. So I don't need to use any spaces after that. But I could say this is going to be my project. So if I, if I send that down to the um, Bluetooth module, you can see it, say, it comes back saying, OK, it has changed the name. If I then go back across to my scanning, at the moment it, it hasn't yet re-scanned and re-looked at the name. So if I, I need to cancel that and then come back in and do uh, a, a reopen my Bluetooth add device. So if I do that and bring that across, Okay, so it's still not managed to pick up the new, and there it is, it's picked up the new name now. So you can see it takes a bit of time for it to actually rescan and pick up that name. But we now have my Bluetooth module broadcasting itself as my project. And again, that just simply then makes it a bit easier for you to identify um, which Bluetooth module um, you're looking at. It just makes it a bit, uh, a, bit, a bit slicker on your design. Okay, again, the HC05 module has a slightly different command to that. It is an AT plus name command, but it's just in a slight different format. Um, so again, please do check out my lists and, you, and you'll see what those are. Okay, so the very last thing then we need to check is our pin number. So again, whenever you try to pair with a device, it will ask you for a pin number for pairing. Uh, the default for this again is 1234, but you can change that then to something um, for yourself. So again, if we do A2 plus pin, and then the actual number, so we could type in 4321 or whatever we want to do. And again, if I set that, you'll see there that's coming back saying, okay, it has now set the pin. And if I try to now pair with this device, if I just bring this up, okay, so again, we've got my project sitting there. If I try and pair with that, it's asking for a pin. So if I do the, the default one, two, three, four, we can see that that doesn't work. And if I try and then do my four, three, two, one, we should find that this allows us to pair. And there we go, we've now paired with that um, Bluetooth module. So that's the Bluetooth module now set up and ready to go. So we've got it working at a faster transmission rate between the Arduino and the module. Again, the, the Bluetooth connection itself, that, that will run at sort of Bluetooth speed, so we, we can't really affect that. We've also then got it broadcasting itself as a sensible name to match our project, and we've got some security with setting the pin number. So that should now give you everything you need to get your Bluetooth module up and running. Um, if you've liked the video, please do like and subscribe. Remember, every subscription helps build the channel. Um, do make sure you check out the pages on my website. Again, all the links down below and have fun working with Bluetooth. Don't forget to visit the course pages for this project. There you'll be able to download the code for this lesson and get lots of extra hints and tips. You'll also get access to all my other programming, electronics and gaming projects. All the links are in the description below. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.